The Water Cycle by Morgan Bauman. In Michigan, we see many different kinds of weather all year long. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Since there is only so much water in the world, we need to recycle it. The water moves around and around and around in this cycle. There are four parts to the water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. The first part of the water cycle we will talk about is evaporation. Evaporation is when the sun heats up the water on the ground and in the rivers, lakes, oceans, and turns into water vapor. This water vapor then moves up into the air. A lot of times this process is completely invisible to us. You can see in this slide that the glass used to be very full with water, but over time the water evaporates out of the glass and appears lower. Another form of evaporation is called transpiration. It is when water is evaporated out of plants. It is very much like when you sweat. When plants sweat or transpire, the water also turns into water vapor and moves up into the air, just like evaporation. Transpiration helps out evaporation so that it is not the only one doing all of the work. The next step in the water cycle is condensation. Condensation is when the water vapor rises into the air. It also cools and then changes back into a liquid, which is condensation. As more and more water vapor rises and turns into liquid, the clouds in the air become fuller and fuller. Pretty soon the clouds become so full that they can't hold any more water. This is when precipitation occurs. Precipitation is when the water in the clouds fall from the sky as rain, hail, sleet, or snow. The last part of the water cycle is collection. Collection is when that falling rain, hail, sleet, or snow runs into our lakes, rivers, or oceans, or seeps into the ground. That water is then soaked up by plants and drank by animals and even you. We are all part of this never-ending process, the one we like to call the water cycle.